Exactly. So we are back with a brand new episode of Walking and Talking with Tim, and my guest today is Heather Simmons. Now Heather is the county commissioner in Gloucester County, right? She's she's also of the deputy director, yes. right? Yes. Which means you help run a few things, right? I try. Which which is just one of your jobs, right? Yes, that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so so you also have a gig at Rowan University. Yeah. So as a commissioner, or as most elected officials in New Jersey, uh, we're part time. That's really a way of doing community service. Right. Um, of, being a county commissioner. My full-time job is at Rowan University and I work in the president's office on strategic initiatives. So I get the opportunity to work with some of the leadership team and the deans on uh, different growth projects like the vet school. And I'm glad we talked about that because as I told you before, I didn't know that. I thought you were just Deputy Director Simmons, <laughs> and that was your full-time gig, because obviously that's a lot, because I see you everywhere yeah. doing lots of community things about, you know, with, with regard to being the commissioner. Well, you know, as much as Rowan University is at the center of so much that we do in county government here and in our community, because right. the university just really drives the economy here, I, I work very hard to keep those two lives separate. Right. because the university work is, is my full-time job and I have to give that the respect it deserves. Absolutely. Um, but where people mostly see me is out and about in my government job. <laughs> <laughs> but they certainly merge, you know? They're certainly connected because this, you know, Rowan is just, where, it's where we are. Obviously, you can see, let's give a quick spin. As you can see, come with me, come with me, <laughs> well, come with, with me. You. We're going I'm all the way you. around. We yes, are we at are Rowan. Rowan yeah, we are on the boulevard, right? So that's pretty cool. Yes, and I, and I actually live here. Right, so so this is like your whole world to be, as yes, far as Rowan. And, and I graduated from Rowan. <laughs> I got my, my master's degree here in uh, 1996. Nice. So, so I've been here my the most of my adult life. Rounds of that. Yeah. So let's talk about family. You said that you are from Philly. You're a Philly girl. I'm a Philly girl. You yes, didn't I move am. here until you were in your 20s. Yes. I, that's hard to believe, actually. Yes. So, so you went. You so you did you come here to go to school and then move here? I graduated from St. Joseph's University in Philadelphia, right on City Line Avenue. In She's a hawk. Philly. I'm a hawk. Uh, I lived less than a mile from right. the campus, so that's where I grew up. That's where uh, my whole family went to St. Joe's. Yeah. And when I graduated, I took a job at Gloucester County College, which is now RCSJ. Rowan College yeah. of South Jersey (RCSJ) and moved here at that time. I moved first to Pittman. I lived in Pittman for a number of years. Oh, great town. Yes. yes, so I've been in South Jersey. I've lived in South Jersey since 1994. Wow. Yes. So you told me that you have one sister yes. and two brothers, yes. uh, uh, but we had to point one out in particular, which was the same name as me, my friend, Tim. Tim, yes, you yes. can't forget that. You can't forget that. Yes. And Tim, well, is, well yeah. I carry a piece of Tim. There we go. Fifty. There we go. My youngest brother Tim donated a kidney to me. Yes. Uh, in December of 2019. Yes. Yes. And so you said it's Tiny Tim. It's right here. I call it Tiny Tim. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> he, he doesn't. He says, "Stop saying that." <laughs> well, he, sorry, Tim. Sorry, Tim. I get it too. It's all good, buddy. Um, so. So that's really an, an, an important story, right? So yes. this, this happened and it happened like just before COVID, right? Just before COVID. In fact, my first day back to work at Rowan was supposed to be March 18th, 2020. Oh my gosh. And it was really kind of the day the world shut down. And so uh, needless to say, I didn't go back to work that day. Right. Um, and in fact was confined to my house for you said that two and a half years you said that you said no, but seriously on a serious note you said it's really hard to be by yourself for it a was time. terrible because you were compromised yes and you couldn't be around other people so yes. so to have to be by yourself for all that time my yes. god uh, now i did live with my sister and brother-in-law for uh, the first piece of that yeah. but at some point in Pennsylvania, they live in Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, through my recovery and for the first part of the pandemic, I did that. But then beyond that, I had to come home. Right. You know, I was still serving in my commissioner position and I was still working at Rowan. And even though I was 
working from home, I, I needed to be home. I needed to be here. Yeah. Um, so I came home and then I was alone. <laughs> It's a long years. time. It was a long time. I don't care if it's six months, you know? It was it was tough. You know, it's Tom Cruise, it's the hockey it season. Tough. No, it's and a long all time. You women will understand this. <laughs> <laughs> Yoga pants lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> a year, two years in your house. It's a long time. And it's a long time, right? Man, oh man. I can't yeah. imagine. It's a that. struggle. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. So, but I think you said just coming out of that, you um, let's go to the next thing I think is kind of cool. You talked about something, we talked about something you like to do, yeah. right? Yeah. So, A, you said you like to hang with your family. Yes. Anything family related yes. is for you, right? That's for me. In fact, uh, people know, they hear me say all the time, I'm going home for the weekend. <laughs> uh, that means I'm going back to Pennsylvania for the weekend. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you said, and you said you're originally from Overbrook. Yes. West Philly section, Overbrook. Hard to believe you went to St. Joe's. <laughs> I know, really. You didn't go too far, right? No, I did not go too far. It was less than a mile from my house. But the other thing you said that was really cool that I really dig is that you like uh, going to Ocean City. I am a beach person, yes, and Ocean City is my place. And and you, we talked about this because I, I'm a I'm a beach I'm not a beach person. I don't like being on the beach, but I like the beach. Mm -hmm. My wife likes being on the beach. I like to hang yeah. out. Yeah. Well, so, I'm not a <laughs> sit in the sand. No, me neither. And get a suntan. I want to be on the beach and walking on. The beach. Yes, high that, five. That's what I want to do. I want to be moving <laughs> and doing things and my, you know watching the world around me. And, my wife and I go through this all the time, and, and it's, con it's a constant thing where she's on the beach and reading yeah. a book. I'm like, I can't. I can't sit still that I, long. I can't do that. I can't do yeah. that. I have a hard time just sitting. Just bake in the sun. No, thank yeah. you. Yeah. No. Yeah. So, but we talked about well, what I like is because I do it too when you go over the bridge. And I smell the salt air, and I hear the seagulls, and I feel the breeze. Yeah, man. You see the little deli or the whatever store you dig, you know? Oh, yeah. And um, I, I just feel, I, I, we both said the same thing. It's just like a sense of, oh, you just, you just I'm just decompress. <laughs> yes. It's like someone just popped. It's a great <laughs> feeling. Yes. I don't, every time I do it, I get the same feeling. And I do it a lot. So what's your favorite place to go in Ocean City? Mac and Mancos, and I still call it Mac and Mancos. Mancos and Mancos <laughs> pizza. I like the thin crust, and theirs is so thin it's like a cracker. The, the crust. I, I know, I've been there. Yeah, I love it. That That's my favorite place. And you said you have a really cool place you go to. I'm not going to tell everybody where it is because that's not cool. But but you go to that you get to see the ocean and the bay, which I is found a, a great double whammy. A great old place that's now a condo and it's got balconies on both sides and one faces the ocean and one faces the bay and <laughs> i just happened upon it yeah, a lucky. number of years ago and I, I try to go there every year it's like that's a yeah it's a no-brainer oh it's, it's a no-brainer i could i could stay there forever absolutely i keep asking them if they want to sell <laughs> <laughs> so one of the other things you talked about was is is we have uh the similarity as you pointed out mm -hmm. is that we both um, really enjoy talking to people yep. like we did today and um, helping yep. so you know it's that that's kind of a that's a big deal to me you know so so talk to everybody about you know what makes what it is that fires you up about having conversations like this and being able to help other people well we were talking a lot about your why my why <laughs> and the thing of it is that I think both of us are the same in that we gain energy from being with people yes and doing things with people talking to people building relationships whatever capacity we're doing with somebody it's or a group collaboration of people, yeah. collaborating with one person or a group of people that feeds us yeah right it feeds our soul 100 percent. yeah so i mean that's that's what i'm all about so that's that's really my my why for pretty much everything i do <laughs> well listen that's the, I get a lot more than I give. Exactly. In that regard. That's, well, yeah, and and listen. So what you have to give a lot. Yeah. Still. Yes. You know, there's no getting away from it. It's life's yeah. all about giving. You know, this whole yes. thing's about service. Mm -hmm. It's all about giving. It took me a long time to figure that out. To be honest with you, yes. you know, I mean, I think um, I tell people it took me 20 years to figure out how to get the business right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, nobody gets it out of the gate, and if you do, God bless you. But, um, Public service is a <laughs> noble endeavor, but it's a lot of work. Yes, it exactly right. And, and I love every minute of it, but it's a lot of work. Yes. Yeah. And to go along with that, you said that 
um, the one thing, if I asked you one thing that you would find mo nearest and dearest to your heart, that is, you know, as, as far as a charity or something like that goes, you said... Anything with children. Anything with children. Yeah, I've been involved closely with, with a lot of the local regional charities. Um, and I think if you look at the ones that I've, you know, particularly enjoyed my time with and spent the most time with, it would be ones with young people and children. It's awesome. So what really, um, is there any particular particular thing? Like, are you involved in any of them? Are you on any of them, you know? I am not currently on uh, the boards for any of these. I've been asked to <laughs> chair certain committees and yeah. do fundraising and, and different things for a number of them. And, and whenever asked, I have a hard time saying that. So of course. I, I do do a fair amount of that kind of thing. Uh, but right now, I don't serve on any of those boards. I, I'm the president of the board of the New Jersey Association of Counties Foundation. So we uh, raise scholarship money yeah. um, through industry partners for um, young people who are graduating from vocational technical schools in New Jersey. Thank you. Uh, so we're, we're gonna get killed. We're actually walking. <laughs> graduating from our vocational technical high schools and going on to college in New Jersey. So we raise scholarship money for them. Uh, so I am on one board, I guess, that deals with there you young go. people. Um, and then I'm on a couple of other boards kind of related to the government side of things that I do. And we talked a little bit about um, work-life balance slash work-life harmony, right? Yes. So so I guess well, this is one of my last, this will probably be one of my last questions. How do you balance all of that? Because you got a lot going on. That's a very good question. <laughs> I, I would say that like you, I struggle with that. It's hard. I struggle with that, especially with um, constant connectivity from the phone, from your laptop, um, you know, your, your work life bleeds into your personal life a lot. And uh, we're about to be serenaded. I know, I see this up here. Um, so I, I struggle with that. So I could use any advice I can get on, on how, how to do that. But honestly, what I do when I go home, I do sleep. <laughs> I, I am a very big proponent of sleep and I do not have trouble sleeping. Right. So that's very important. That helps me recharge. Very cool. So if anybody out there wants to get a hold of you, <laughs> and this guy, we're gonna have to sing along. <laughs> so if anybody out there wants to get a hold of you, how do they do that? Well, hopefully you can put it on the screen there, Tim. Uh, but my uh, my office number is eight five six eight five three 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 seven eight. And I am H Simmons at co.gloucester.nj.us. We're going back and I'm going to play with these guys. Dog dog. You see that <laughs> okay. back there? There's a drum set. We're getting on that thing. I promise you. <laughs> so listen, thank you for coming out and, and giving it your time today because we sat for a long time. We did. We chatted yeah. for a while and, and to get to know each other. And again, you know, you find things out, you know, I encourage you to get out and, and, and meet with people like Heather and, and anybody in networking because that's how this stuff is that's how you build relationships and that's how you build your own life yeah you know? i could do this kind of thing all day and i know you could absolutely i know yeah. you could so thank you thank you for spending the time with me thank you for watching and hey and please reach out if there's anything that that we can do to help you or your family that's that's what we're here to do we, we thrive on being able to to help there you go so Everybody who's watching, please remember, this whole thing's powered by Telecorp Technologies. And remember, keep walking, keep, walking. keep moving, and we will see you next time on Walking and Talking with Tim. See y'all.